Hi, I'm Robert, R. Michael uh, Artist. I have a painting here from uh, Cezanne, dated 1892, and basically the, uh, the con concept of the painting is called Tulips in a Vase. Cezanne oftentimes painted in uh, a, a very loose uh, style. You get the gist of how the painting is done, and basically in a post-impressionistic uh, uh, time period. One of the ideas behind what I tried to replicate is to try to create a little bit more saturations in the tulips. Uh, of course, I didn't use the same brush strokes like Cezanne would have done from the dip, the paint onto the canvas, back and forth, which a painting like this could have taken a while to do. Um, I just basically cheated a little bit. I used more pastels, uh, pastels in the colors, uh, over the fact of how Cezanne had used it, which was a lot darker. Colors sort of the same idea, but a lot uh, more dull uh, aspects of it. Cezanne always painted still lifes, or at this point in time was painting still lifes, and often using uh, bread baskets, a lot of fruit as you can see here, but he never painted really with, with tulips. This just happened to be one situation where he, uh, somebody had placed the vase with the tulips on the table. And as you can see, what my interest was is the idea of the paint of the green, the phalos of that green, which phalos is a very, uh, very pronounced color. It's very difficult to cover over because it's pretty intense. When you paint these greens, you have to be very careful because uh, the, the use of green tends to muddy very easily. And the values within the green become difficult to, to transpire. So you actually basically have to start here and work your way into that to make sure you get all the colors of green that you want. Especially some of the, the, the lighting uh, factors of these highlights within that uh, had to come very, uh, very patiently at that point. But as again, you see some of the small flowers, you see the fruit, you see this table, uh, a little bit cockeyed, line isn't straight, and you sort of look at this thing and say, hey, which many times when he did paint table scenes, when you had the object there, one line would be here and another line would be here. Again, that's part of the looseness of the Impressionist style that was, was used. There was really no attention to real detail. I framed, I should say, that this actual painting is at the Norton Simon Museum. I was fascinated with it a number of years ago and uh, finally decided to, to try and uh, put my hand at to try to paint. Paint it, and I, uh, I think it came out very well. Now, here's the frame that I personally use. The frame that's at the Norton Simon uh, around the painting, which is very small. It's really a 16 and a half by 28 and a half, which is the original size. And when you use a six inch frame to go around, uh, especially as ornate as it was, it has a little set of flowers and then it kind of comes up with these, uh, these ornate uh, factors around it. Uh, really like it doesn't go with the painting. Whether or not uh, Cezanne actually put the, the uh, frame around the painting or if Norton Simon had done that himself. In any case, what I chose to do is create more of a contemporary look, trying to create the antique finish in a gold color. So I'm trying to basically use this as a bit of tradition, a little bit antique looking, as well as a form of bringing it into a contemporary uh, uh, style. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. It was a pleasure for me to actually paint this. Thank you.